Hello YouTube, it is Alp Viral over here. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can remove your Windows 11 password in case you forgot about it. So in my case, it is asking for a PIN, just like you see over here. And let's say I don't know the PIN and I need to bypass and then reset it. The first thing you need to do is you need to hold Shift on the keyboard and then go to Power, bottom right, and tap Restart. Keep holding shift and let's wait for the computer to restart. Okay, so once the window starts, it will go to this option and you will find troubleshoot. Tap on the troubleshoot and then hit advanced options. Go to command prompt and this window will open up. The next thing that you need to do over here, you need to type dir for the directions. D I R, and it will show some uh, notifications here. And the next thing you need to type C. Okay, so once you are at the C, you will need to type CD Windows. So you can go to the Windows folder and then same thing CD sys System 32. Okay, CD one more time. Perfect. Now we are on System 32. We will need to make a rename. What we will do, we will rename the utilman to utilman1.x. So to do this, just type ran utilman.exe utilman1.x. Okay, and the next thing you need to rename the command prompt into utilman.exe. Ran cmd.exe utilman.exe. Perfect. Once you do this, you will need to restart your computer. So over here, you can check continue to Windows 11. What we did right now is we renamed one file that was utilman.exe to cmd.exe. In this way, we will be able to open the cmd on without starting the computer, without logging into the computer. Let's wait for the computer to start and I will show you how we can proceed later. Okay, guys. Before proceeding with the video, how to reset Windows 11 password, I want to show you a quick promotion to get your Windows activated, legit, and with a valid license key with a very cheap price. Okay, so over here you can see that my Windows is not activated, and in this case, I will need to have a Windows license key in order to use this computer. The thing that you need to do over here, you need to go to lviral.company.site on your website, on your browser, and you can see that there are a bunch of products over here, and click on the window on your Windows license that you need. For now, I need Windows 11 Pro license key. You will need to click over here, add to bag, okay, and then go to checkout. Once you do this, you'll need to type your email address over here and hit PayPal checkout. Okay, so here we are over here. You will click on the Utilman, which is over here, and instead of accessibility, it will go to CMD. So tap on this one, and here we see that it is already open. Over here, you need to type Control User Passwords 2. Make sure you type this correctly, and if you do it correctly, this will show up. So now, in case, in case if you have, if you don't have an account on your computer, you will have this option over here, reset password, and you will be able to reset the password without any problems. In case you don't have, like I have, now you will just go to advanced, go again to advanced user management over here, go to users, groups, okay, users over here, and here you can see the users. Uh, the next thing you need to do is go to actions, which is the second one on the left, new user and over here type the, the username that you will be it will be alt viral reset password okay and then after that you will need to click on create uncheck this one user must change the password we do not need to change the password and then hit create okay hit close and over here you can see that the user is already added alt viral reset password uh, you next thing you need to do is you need to go to the member of Tap on users, hit remove, and after that, click on add over here and type administrators. Make sure you type this correctly also and click OK. 
hit OK again, apply, OK, and the user is already added right now. So the next thing you need to do, you need to close everything of these ones, close and restart the computer. OK, so the computer is restarting and previously we was only on one user. Now we will have two users to sign in. Let's say you don't need you don't want, uh, you don't know this password, but on the left you can check that there are already two users. Here we go. We click on the second user, and the computer will now start. Perfect. We already logged into the computer. You will need to do some uh, setup first, since it is a new user, and it will get give you some instructions, and we will install some files. But this will not delete nothing from your previous files. So let's wait for this to finish, and I will get back to you soon. Okay, so go through the setup. And here we are. Okay, so you can see that we have already started the computer. We are inside the computer as another user, but still as an administrator. And over here you can see, if you go to the computer, this PC, or local disk C, and go to users, and over here you can see that there are two users. This is a default the teeny, this the main user over here, which we can also we can also access it and get our files, whatever we need, just like number. Here it is the old desktop and the new user, which is the one that we are already logged in. Elvar reset password. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to settings and you need to delete the previous user. Okay, so here you need to go to family and other users, other users over here. And you can see that there is this email address, which I don't have the password, let's say, and we just need to remove it. So click here, hit delete account. And once you do this, this user will be deleted and you will have only main one main user, which you already know the password and you can easily use the computer like you used to before you forgot the password. And then finally, the last thing that you need to do is that you need to rename the file that you renamed earlier into the original name. So again, you need to hold shift just like you did before, go to start, go to power and hit restart. Once you do this, the computer will go to the same screen like it used to do before. Okay, again, we'll go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt, and here you need to type dir. This same will run out. Here you need to type C, and these two dots, and here you need to type CD Windows, just like you used to do on the first time, CD System 32, and then you will need to do the reverse of what we did back then. So. First of all, we will need to rename the CMD to back to the CMD. So we need to do ran utilman.exe cmd.exe. Okay, first one is completed, and then the second one ran until man1.exe to utilman.exe. Okay, one more time. Oh, sorry, my bad. Ran until man1.exe util man.exe okay the first the second one is also executed and we are good to go okay guys thanks for watching for any question leave your comment below thumbs up and subscribe